Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 9, 6, and 4. If you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle, you have come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. If you've been following our homeschool for any length of time, you know that we've been using Evan more for the last three years or so, and recently I became an affiliate for them, so they have sent me a few notebooks in exchange for my honest review. Here I have Skill Sharpener's Science for grade K because my youngest, my four-year-old, will be joining our homeschool full-time next year. This year she's been going to Montessori pre part-time about nine hours a week but next year she wants to just join us full-time and so I thought it would be fun for her to have some book work to join her siblings at the table. Particularly for a child her age I thought a full color workbook would be really fun for her. This works kind of like a textbook and a workbook in one. When you open the book you have this very clear table of contents that not only explains what concept is explained on each page but also what kind of skills the child will be practicing. For example here you see that under physical science you have sizes and shapes on page 10. The concept is that things have different shapes and sizes and the skills practiced are fine motor skills, visual discrimination, distinguishing shapes and sizes, labeling graphic images, and making observations as well. The three main areas of science covered in this book include physical science, life science, and earth science. The book explains very clearly how the book is laid out. There are chants and rhymes. There's also little scripted sections at the bottom of the pages called Talk to Your Child. There's activities to do, and there's also hands-on real-world activities. So there's both workbook activities and hands-on like lab-type activities to do. There's also some certificates and checklists included, which are always fun for kids at this young age. We're not a huge certificate family, but if my children want the certificate, I'm happy to give it to them. I generally don't emphasize them because in our household, we kind of say that they're slips of paper and the learning is really where the value comes in. So here you can see a nice little checklist. I like this, especially if you have like a um, planner of your own. This is a nice page to tear out. These pages are perforated, by the way, which makes it really easy to tear out whatever you might need. So as you go through the lesson book, they can track their progress or you can. So as you can see, each lesson is very, very colorful, very engaging. The words are, you know, not too dense. It says to read this science chant to your child. So small strawberry like a heart, crescent melon, fruity star, small round cherry, oval grape, everything has a size and shape. And then under talk with your child, it has a section that says you should explain to your child that things in this world around us have different shapes and sizes. Help your child identify shapes. Use shape words like circle, square, triangle, etc. Use size words like big, large, medium, etc. And so it gives you a little lesson where you can incorporate the chant and what you're learning into actual real life experience. So here you have shape matching. Very simple, very well suited to the kindergarten level and even the pre-K level I would say for this book, at least at the beginning here. So as you can see the pages do include some areas for tracing and there's some areas for drawing as well. So here you're supposed to go on a walk and then draw what you saw on that walk. On the next lesson about position, you have the same type of format. You have a science chant to do and a discussion to have with your child. There's some paper activities for your child to do and some tracing and then there's an actual real life activity to do to look around your house and find different positional words and draw them. Again, here's another chant. This one is set to the tune of Oh My Darling Clementine and I'll just go through quickly and flip through the pages so that you can see how colorful this book is and how engaging for a young child. I really like the fact that it includes things for both your auditory learners as well as your visual learners as well as your more kinesthetic learners. So it's a good opportunity to see in an experimental fashion which type of lessons actually do appeal to your child at a young age. These little hints that you can glean about your child as they are younger are really really advantageous to you as they advance in age so that as they get to be first graders, second graders, third graders, you can further and further customize their education to their particular learning styles. As you can see here, often they include real pictures as opposed to drawings, which is also another nice feature. So for different types of a plant. And as you progress, the concepts become a little bit more complicated. The rhymes become a little bit longer, which is appropriate to the increasing age of your child throughout the year. So here you have things about pet homes and habitats, the difference between landforms like rivers and mountains. 
a section on rocks. That's always fun with little kids. Um, a section on some planetary bodies, trees and seasons, some weather. And then there is a complete answer key as well. And the answer key is actually the reproduced pages. So if you have an older child, this is a good opportunity for an older child to grade a younger child's work. I like to do that with my kids so they have an opportunity to feel more responsible and that they have a say also in helping their younger siblings go along. So, so this was Evan Moore's Skill Sharpeners for grade K. Skill Sharpeners for Science is actually available in levels pre-K all the way through sixth. And I think they're a great, very colorful, engaging way to bring your children to the table, particularly at a young age at this grade K level. It gives you an opportunity to see what types of learning styles best suit your child because it really does address the auditory, visual, and kinesthetic learner in here. And I am just really excited to use this with my daughter. So if you guys have any experience with Evan Moore, I would love it if you would leave it in the comments down below. Or if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them to the extent that I can. If you're interested in looking at Evan Moore and checking out this book in particular, I will leave my affiliate link in the description box down below. As always, you guys, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And I wish you the very best day.